that is a significant push that the region is uh, taking it's likely to follow across the globe you got open banking you've got apis now you have real time payments being mandated sapa instant so together if you combine iso plus open banking plus real time yeah, so blue chip basically means high quality We've designed a methodology that allows us to identify and select digital assets that we think are of high quality. And we've done this using crypto native metrics. All assets will essentially be digital assets and will live on blockchain. One of our primary roles is to enable the transformation of the Swiss Financial Center into that tokenized and blockchain based. We chose XRPL. One, because there was an opportunity. We saw there was a robust technology, a robust infrastructure. Sologenic going cross-chain through the bridge to the Cosmos ecosystem or to the EVM sidechain is one of the next steps. But also, we are really working hard on a tokenization gateway. Right, and that pulled all the liquidity out of this market on Friday and this morning in the tank that's here. There was a big gap to, wow. to cover over there. Wow. So it's called the carry trade covering. Know what you hold? Enjoy the ride, pal. It's the XME Welcome back to some more Moon O'Clock News. No breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra. Extra. Bullishness. Shout out to the latest sell. We got Dustin in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, stuffing some baggies. Smashing them likeies. What does this tell you? The extreme fear index. Mega pump is coming. All time highs. And beyond that, we got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today, 2.08 trillion. We got a green day today up 4.3% in the past 24. Trading volume in the last day right around 136 billion. We got XRP in that number seven spot. Currently right around 50 cents, two for a dollar. We got Stellar XLM right beneath 10 cents, 10 for a dollar. We got BTC 56,000. We got ETH right around 24, 25 hundo. Flare Networks right around 0.017. XDC 0.024. Axelar 49 cents. Stronghold 0036. Songbird 007. Zahao 0.04. We got Evernote at 0.089. Taking a look at the all coin season index, still in Bitcoin season here at 22. We got the Digital Pound Foundation to pop things off. Digital payment giant seeks to join India's digital rupee CBDC pilot. We got 707 Crypto, the global shift to real-time payments, open banking, ISO 2022, Volante Technologies. You've got open banking, you've got APIs. Now you have real-time payments being mandated, SAPA instant. So together, if you combine ISO plus open banking plus real time, that is a significant push that the region is uh, taking. It's likely to follow across the globe. We got Smoke Dog Stocks, digital asset representative explaining what are blue chip digital assets. Blue chip digital assets are cryptocurrencies of high quality. The Stocks Digital Asset Blue Chip Index includes XRP. These basket of blue chip digital assets were made so institutional investors can focus on better quality assets. Blue chip and crypto may not exactly be terms that traditionally go hand in hand, but what does a blue chip focus entail in the digital assets market and what does it mean for investors? Yeah, so blue chip basically means high quality. We've designed a methodology that allows us to identify and select digital assets that we think are of high quality. And we've done this using crypto native metrics. What this means for investors is that they can focus on some of the better quality digital assets and move away from some of the riskier parts of the spectrum. We got the blue chip approach, age, total value secured, active addresses, economic activity, developer community. We got XRP, Ripple, cryptocurrency, payment coin, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, payment coin, ETH layer one, ADA layer one, ABAX layer one. XRP drops the head of the Swiss six digital exchange SDE, which listed the world's first XRP ETP, AXRP in 2019. With the most bullish outlook on crypto, we do expect that ultimately all assets will essentially be digital assets and will live on the blockchain. We do expect that ultimately 
all assets will essentially be digital assets and will live on blockchain. So our, one of our primary roles is to enable the transformation of the Swiss Financial Center into that tokenized and blockchain-based future that I believe is, lies ahead of us. We got Ripple X Dev Real Sologenic. Discover how Sologenic offers seamless trading platform, cryptocurrency, stablecoins, and tokenized assets like stocks and ETFs. I wouldn't be working in this industry if I didn't believe like digital assets were a hundred percent the future of how the economy, or at least part of it, is going to function in the future. The reason why we built Sologenic in the first place is because we saw the need for an interface to interact with a native DEX that is already functioning and live on the XRPL. We chose XRPL, one, because there was an opportunity. We saw there was a robust technology, a robust infrastructure. Sologenic going cross-chain through the bridge to the Cosmos ecosystem or to the EVM sidechain is one of the next steps. But also, we are really working hard on a tokenization gateway uh, that will allow any institution or, or business to plug into it and tokenize on the XRPL uh, easily. I'm very excited for that. Yeah. We got the fourth musketeer, Japanese markets crash. Why is it hitting the U.S. so hard? Dean, I saw that the stock market crashed in Japan. Why is that affecting us so badly? It's because of this thing called the carry trade. Um, the, 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 the Fed started increasing rates over a year ago. Japan had negative rates. So you look at uh, about a year, starting from a year ago, you look at how weak the yen was. Japan had negative interest rates. You pay a bank money. You have to pay a bank money to hold your money. For example, right, negative, and our rates were going up, right. So what that 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 spread caused a demand for Japanese yen. It's called a carry trade. You borrow you borrow with yen at a super low interest rate, and you take all that money, you know, and you can put it in fixed income and equities here that are giving you this big returns. It's kind of arbitrage. What happened was, I think. That, that was happening. I've read a lot about like Buffett was doing that and, and some people at that level were doing that. Institutions were doing that, but it, the magnitude it did was so big. And what happened was the BOJ, the Bank of Japan, just recently, you know, last week stopped doing that, stopped buying their bonds, right? So their rates went up. And if you look at the US dollar, the US dollar against the yen tanked. So all these people had short positions over there borrowing on yen and, and, Using the money here had to cover their trades. So, and that coupled with like, you know, the concerns about earnings, about growth over here, everything just hit at one time. Everyone had to dump their equities here, dump the tech stocks here, you know, and all that and put and cover their positions in Japan because the yen was, was, uh, uh the, the US dollar was, was tanking against the yen, right? So that all in all has caused a crash. If you look at what happened last night, this morning was like all the Asian markets crashed. Because of that, that unwinding of all those positions, you know, all the buybacks, all the short coverings and stuff like that, right? And that pulled all the liquidity out of this market on Friday and this morning and tanked us here. There was a big gap to, wow. to cover over there. Wow. So it's called the carry trade covering. And the magnitude of it was so high, it's affected us and it's affected the rest of the world in Asia. Wow. In a big way. Everyone is tanking right now. Yeah, so that's what's happening. It's in that couple with the fact that we're concerned about rates being overcooked, being held too high, about GDP concerns, unemployment concerns, that and this at all happens at one time. You got this kaboom. We got Simplex. USDC is now supported on the Stellar blockchain. Thanks to our collaboration with Stellar Org, you can seamlessly buy USDC on Stellar, enabling faster and cheaper transactions. Simplex, Stellar. We got one from Flare Networks. What is R Flare? R Flare rewards Flare as a token introduced as part of the Flare's new DeFi emissions program. R Flare rewards given to users who add liquidity to incentivize pools and select dApps within the Flare ecosystem. At the end of each reward period, dApps will allocate R Flare rewards to qualifying users participated in the R Flare incentivized pools. How to claim? Users can claim the rewards via the Flare portal at which point they will start vesting and incurring monthly flare drops. Our flare will vest over 12 months each month. Users can withdraw one twelfth of their vested rewards as rap flare. To maximize rewards, users can hold any monthly R flare token distribution to fully vest over 12 months before withdrawing. Users may also withdraw immediately with the 50% penalty. Rewards are the first epoch are now available to claim, blaze swap, spark decks, AR distributing 
allocation for users to claim at Flare Portal. Remember, once claim, your R Flare will be wrapped and become eligible or Flare drops. Kinetic Markets Key Stake Update The weekly claim for rewards is now live. Up to date reward values are also enabled. You may need to clear your cache to see the update. Thank you so much for your patience and help. If you see, if you have issues, please come to our Telegram. Also, check out this lending and borrow tutorial taken from the previous testnet tutorial video. We got lending and borrowing dropping tomorrow, August 7th, 1 p.m. EST. The weekly claim for rewards is now live. Just claim my rewards, Kinetic Markets, Jewel, Key, Flare Networks. We got sentiment feed and some charts to close out. The crowd played a massive part in crypto rebounding over the past 30 hours. Bitcoin's rapid bounce back to 57K came immediately after social media proclaimed that we're about to see 40 to 45K BTC again. Instant bounces after bearish sentiment is common theme throughout 2024. Another one from Santa and Feed. Here are your crypto's top overall coins by notable development activity in the past 30 days. Directional indicators represent each project's ranking rise or fall since last month. We got ICP, HBAR, ADA, LINK, OP, ATOM, STRK, SNTE, DOT. We got Titan of Crypto. Bitcoin bull market is still on. The only metric you need to monitor to know if Bitcoin is still in a bull market is 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level. As long as the price closes above it, the bull market is still on. We got Mikey Bull Crypto altcoins, a final capitulation indeed, as it hit the lowest point as it similarly did in 2020, which signaled the bottom. I don't think this time is any different. Coins kid XRP on the daily slam right back into the buy zone white line. The reason why I was looking at this was really simple. Ascending triangle breakout back test, aka God candle back test. Time and time again, we traded these. We now have one above key support melted through. So now this is on my radar for the swing opportunity as key resistance. Happy trading. Mustache altcoins alt season index looks like an inverse head and shoulder pattern has been forming here for over two years now. Good things. Take time. We got Edgrad Crypto, the fear and greed index, extreme fear. What this tells you is if the mega pump is coming, all time highs to infinity and beyond that cryptocurrencies and we got dark defender xrp only had this type of weekly bullish hammer candle march of 2017 it was just three weeks before the xrp mega run with that being said september 22nd the end of summer big brad garland house says look out for the case closure finality coming at the end of the summer the longer they take the higher we climb on that xrp risk list let a friend know that the greatest opportunity the multiple lifetimes is still at hand but the trains left the station. Where will those bags beat when that regulation jar molasses finally breaks open? An XRP's true price is finally revealed. Big bags. Welcome to the Beta glitches. Welcome to the show. I told you so, so. I told you so, so. be our passion cause what you focus on you attract like a magnet got diamond hands we hold to we blasting it's universal law